From roller coasters that send you every which way but loose to swing rides that go very high off the ground, I'm Bob from World 5 List. Join me as I show you 11 theme park rides that you need to be pretty brave to go on. Number 11, The Sky Screamer. Now I want to start off my list with a spin-off of one of my favorite theme park rides, The Swings. Yeah, you know the one I'm talking about. You strap yourself onto a swing just above the ground and it slowly spins you carousel style until you puke all over the place. It's lovely and families enjoyed in droves. But if you're looking for something a bit more extreme, do the Sky Screamer. It's basically the same ride, but with a couple of noteworthy twists. Mainly, it seats fewer people, and as you spin around, you slowly rise into the air until you're 400 feet up. It gives a new meaning to the phrase, swinging really high. You can find the Sky Screamer in two different Six Flags parks, one in Arlington, Texas, and the other in New England, Massachusetts. And interestingly enough, the rides are actually a Guinness World Record holder, for the tallest swinging carousel. Now, why do you have to be brave to be on this ride? Well, that's because it swings an upward of 35 miles per hour once it gets going, and you'll be doing that at extreme heights. That's very scary for a lot of people, but if you want to do it, you can be my guest. Number 10, the Ferris wheel. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. You don't have to be brave to go on a Ferris wheel, and you're right, to an extent. These days, the only thing you have to fear with a Ferris wheel is the power going out, or a mechanical malfunction that results in the wheel stopping. But I want to go back in time and unveil the origins of the wheel all the way back to 1893. The World Exhibition in Chicago was where the unveiling would take place, and at the time, nobody really knew if it was truly safe or not. Add to that, people who ran the thing didn't even know if it would work once they turned the power on. It should also be noted that the Ferris wheel was much different than the ones we have today. The wheel was 284 feet tall, and its 36 cars could hold up to 60 people. That's a lot of people per cart on a brand new ride. Thankfully, the ride was a success, despite some minor things falling off as it got going, and the rest is all history. Number 9. The Lex Luthor Drop of Doom A classic style of theme park ride that definitely requires courage are the drop rides. The ones where you're strapped into a rig and you slowly rise higher and higher until you eventually stop and enjoy the view all before dropping back down at breakneck speeds. Now, I've been on some of these, and they are truly something to experience. But how do you single one out as being the most dangerous or one that you need to be most brave? Well, the Lex Luthor Drop of Doom earns the award for several reasons. You're 415 feet in the air, the ride's position is actually right next to a Superman ride, both of which are at Six Flags Magic Mountain in California, and I like to think it's brilliant, actually. And finally, there's the view. Since you're in California, you have quite a sight to behold once you get to the top, and speaking from experience, these rides make you feel like a deity, seeing how small everything is on top of the world. Granted, you'll only have a few seconds to appreciate it before you crash back down, but it's worth it. Also, you have to be brave to mount a ride that's named after an infamous supervillain. I'm just saying. And now for number 8. But first, have you ridden any of the rides on my list? Let me know about it in the comments below, and be sure you're subscribed if you're new here. Number 8. The Rusty Roller Coaster now, like in all aspects of life, things eventually do get old and need to be updated or replaced. This especially goes for theme park rides, and most definitely for roller coasters. Originally, roller coasters were made out of wood, and some of those do still remain today. But later on, they would be replaced with metal and iron. Yet, metal roller coasters have one big weakness. That's called rust. No one told that to the workers in the Kaesin Youth Park in Pyongyang, North Korea. That's right, amidst North Korea sits a theme park. But while the attempt to make its citizens happy is appreciated, many actually fear going onto the rides for the simple reason that they don't know if the rides are going to stay on the tracks. Roller coasters there are really old, especially old in terms of theme park age. 
So if you're going to be able to go there and you're brave enough, then be wary of what ride you go on. Number 7. The Giant Canyon Swing Rides can be extreme on their own, but when put into a location that adds to the tension, you're going to need to be brave for that. Case in point here is the Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. At first glance, everything seems appropriate and normal, and then you see the giant canyon swing. Interestingly enough, the ride only seats four people and the maximum weight can't go over 800 pounds. The giant canyon swing is a pendulum ride, so you go back and forth and you even climb up high enough to gain vertical standing. On its own, it's nothing new, but the positioning of the ride is what actually has you dangling over a literal canyon. And you're actually on a mountain for the ride and hanging over a cliff. And if you look down, you're going to see the Colorado River. It's so extreme that you actually need a waiver in order to ride on it. So enjoy. Number six, the water slides at Universal Studios Volcano Bay. Now, water slides are a fun part of a lot of theme parks, and for all the right reasons. They're fast and fun, and you can do them by yourself or with your family and friends. And then you end up going into a big pool at the bottom. But for the brave, there are those speed slides, and none in the United States are taller or faster than the ones that are Universal Studios Volcano Bay. These slides are 125 feet tall, and the slides themselves send you careening through the mountain before ending up in the water below. The 70 degree angle of the rides ensure that you're going super fast. One slide features a straight shot into the water, while the other one actually twists and turns you as you go into the volcano. Oh, and to begin the ride, you are put into a launch pod. Number 5. SCAD Dives this one isn't actually attached to any one place because a lot of parks have them, but the suspended air catch dives are by far one of the scariest rides I've ever seen, and you better have courage if you're hoping to take it on. The whole point of the ride is that you're brought high into the air and then you jump off, heading toward a netted area below. But the problem is that the ride doesn't give you a tether, a bungee, or any other kind of safety system, so you're basically jumping off a cliff and hoping that the net works. Let me think about that for a minute. Um, no. Number 4. The Cannonball Loop there are a lot of theme parks in the world that have an infamous nature about them, but few have ever been as infamous as Action Park in New Jersey. This park was so lax and uncaring in a lot of aspects of their rides that six people actually died while in their care. Now, as if that wasn't enough, they also made the Cannonball Loop. This monstrosity of a water slide may seem rather simple at first, but it holds a deadly secret. For because of how it was constructed, if you don't go down the slide in the proper way or have enough weight, you're either not going to make it, or you'll stop mid-air and hit the bottom in some way, shape, or form. The infamous water slide was so bad, in fact, that the park actually had to bribe its workers to test it out. And when numerous people failed to make it around the loop, they were forced to add an escape hatch. Thankfully for all, it's not around anymore, and the world is a much better place. Number 3. The X Scream Sometimes I think designers of rides are just trying to be mean to those who ride them, and if you don't believe me, look at the X Scream. This ride stands on top of the Stratosphere Tower in Las Vegas, and it's a short ride, but the intent is to actually scare you in the worst way possible, because once you get on the ride, you'll be tilted downwards and make your way through 69 feet of track. Once you reach the end, you'll actually be danging just off the tower, 886 feet off the ground. Now, for the record, that's double the height of the Lex Luthor ride that I talked about earlier. And as for why it's higher on the list than certain other rides, the only thing keeping you alive is the tether to the track. Should that fail you, you're going down, and very fast and very hard. Plus, this is Vegas, a town that's built on gambling. And I wouldn't gamble my life on that ride, would you? Number 2. King Dakar 
You might look at some of the rides on my list and go, come on, give me something extreme. To which I present to you the King Daka from Six Flags Great Adventure. This is a ride you simply can't take lightly, if for no other reason than it's the tallest and fastest steel roller coaster in the world. Not scared yet? Well, it only lasts 28 seconds because it goes 128 face melting miles per hour. And on top of that, you're going really high and then really low at such speeds that you're going to feel weightless at times. However, don't worry, if you do go on the ride, they actually supply you with a vomit bag. How considerate. Number one, the slingshot. Now, it may seem like an odd choice to be on top of my list, but the slingshot rides at various theme parks are very much ones that you have to be brave and perhaps even a little crazy to actually go on. This is basically a reverse bungee jump. You get into a pod that's attached to a support beams via spring cables, and once you're inside, they begin to tighten the cords. Once at full pull, they then launch you into the air at a great speed. The largest of these rides can be found at Magical Midway that sends you 400 feet into the air at about 90 miles per hour, pulling 5 Gs as you do. So why do you need to be brave? Well, the ride is pretty intense and not for the faint of heart, but more on top of that, you restrict yourself to two points of failure, or even one point of failure, which is never wise. If one of those cables should snap, the ride will get even more intense. But, you know, by all means, try it out for yourself. Thanks for watching. Which of these rides are you tempted to try out for yourself? And have you ever been on some of them? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Be sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you next time on World 5.